All right, so this is the DJI brand new Osmo Action 5. I already have the four. We're gonna unbox this, take a look at it, see if it's worth the upgrade. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. So we know that my channel is really about Disney. Trigger Sam's. I think I'm actually wearing a Disney hat. But all that being said, I have to use cameras to film this stuff, right? So I, I have the Osmo, which we are watching now, and I have the Action 4, which is a spectacular uh, camera. And you can watch my other video of why I don't use GoPro anymore. And GoPro just released they're new, I believe uh, they're on the 13. Um, and if you want a true comparison of which action camera you should get, then I would check out Flight Path or uh, David Manning. I mean, these guys are gonna go through settings. I'm just a regular dude who likes cameras um, and uses them, but I don't wanna spend my entire life on them. So we're gonna unbox this one. It just came. I was uh, really impressed. I got the Creator or uh, Adventure combo. Um, and I'll put below what the price was because I don't, I'm doing this kind of quick and dirty. I don't have a lot of time and I'm shoving it in there. It may not be a great video. So if it's not, I apologize in advance. Um, did I really need to upgrade? That's the question, you know, I'm kind of curious to ask myself. Um, and I'll probably be putting this one on eBay because I'm definitely going to keep it up. These people keep advertising uh, low cost health insurance. Um, so, in this pack, you get the camera, obviously, uh, a nice um, extender. Uh, I wish, and I, that's the other thing, I didn't bring any of the stuff I was supposed to bring. Like I have lights and I have tripods and all of these things, and I, I didn't bring any of it. So I'm using one, the Osmo, because if I had this on, I could really set it up. Um, and that's the other thing, I don't finish sentences. Set it up, what do you mean, set it up? Well, I mean that I could have put that on a tripod and had this looking down at the unboxing instead of me just doing it like this. But I will put in a nice slow motion video of what it all looks like. So here it is. Here is the Action 5. And I believe it is, let's just take it out and see. I believe it's exactly the same size. Oh, see, I'm so used to GoPro, I don't even need to do that because of the magnetic mounts. Although now I'm struggling with it like, but I know I've done it before. This is why we do it live. So let's take the cage off. I keep that cage off there. I don't know how much it protects it. I don't really do anything where it needs crazy protection, honestly. Um, but I've left it on there because why not? It looks rugged and cool. And if it does drop and I have to do something, then I would be sad if I didn't have it on there. So let's look. I mean, there they are side by side. It looks almost identical, right? Uh, on the buttons a little bigger on this side, which is cool. Uh, the record button is bigger on the top here. Um, other than that, they look pretty similar, right? Here's my, here it is at the sticker. And so one thing that I just found out in watching other reviews is if you look right, Right there, right, right in that little uh, in the in the O of um, of action uh, is a uh, color meter. So it, it uh, there's a lot that I've learned about this camera. And again, if you want to know a lot about these cameras, then please go watch someone else. Um, this is really just my daily use. And then the one thing I do want to check is low light. I want to see if this low light is any better. There's a bunch of new features it does. And um, uh, but let's go through it. Uh, a little more carefully. So, the other thing you get with the Osmo is probably the best battery case ever, and I absolutely love it. One of the things, and <clears throat> again, if you're looking for specs for all these things, you can take a look at the, uh, it's a new battery, but it is backwards compatible with this one. So if you, have old batteries and uh, and want to use them with your new Action 5, you can. So if you got just the regular one and already have these, now these are 1950 milliamps, they are better. And as I watched the other day, I believe 
the Action 5 has some software trickery in it that um, makes it run longer. So if you put the 5 battery in the 4, you'll still have more than the 4 battery, but not as much as if you're actually using it with the 5. The other thing that is fascinating to me, oh, I gotta set it up, I guess. I guess I gotta, I gotta use my phone. Hang tight for a sec. All right, so while, while that's setting up, just so you know, this is the 5, and it absolutely fits in, um, in the 4 cage. So the, they are identical uh, in size, which is nice. Okay, I don't wanna do a questionnaire. Yes, I'm sure. Activation successful. Now it's going to run me through some, um, now it's downloading firmware. So, while it's doing that, let's take some video and I'll show you what you get. So, obviously the box and the camera, right, which is downloading some firmware. Uh, instruction manual, little cards, there's that new uh, cage, which I didn't even take out yet. Uh, USB-C to USB-C and the, uh, this fantastic uh, battery case, which really, again, the only battery case I can think of better is the one for the DJA Mic 2, because it's spectacular. And then another magnetic mount to clip onto the bottom and a selfie stick extender, call it what you will. All right, again, I'm not gonna go through every feature on these because there's better videos that have done it than me. Oops. So. The side button, uh, you can change. So now I'm in video. What I, I've set these both up just for the purposes of the rest of this at uh, 4K 60 frames a second. And what I'm doing now is turning them off. Oh, this one doesn't want to turn off. All right, there we go. So one of the things they've done is made the, so when you press this top button and it's dead off, it'll record. Right, so you're you're with your kids, you're doing something awesome, something pops up. How fast can you get these going? And let's take a look at this because this is kind of cool. Already recording. Wait, that didn't work. So let's see how this works. Hopefully, it's focused on that. Oh. Oh, well, it's already recording. That's how fast it is. It still wants me to update firmware. All right, well, while I'm installing the firmware and as we're looking at this camera, the one thing that's pretty incredible is if I record with this, uh, there's, there's no SD card in here right now, and you get 48 gigs of internal memory. I mean, that's unheard of. So if you're an idiot like me, um, you know, who didn't bring, like today, I. Ran down here to do this because it just came in the mail. And so I wanted to get it out there to see, you know, before everyone goes and buys or to see whether you need to upgrade. Ran down here and forgot all kinds of stuff. And I have left the house, especially with my drone. I used to do it all the time, where I would absolutely forget to put an SD card in it. So I'm flying around and realizing that no one is going to see this. This has 48 gigs inside. So, you know, that's an hour or so worth of, an hour and 21 minutes according to this with no SD card at all. Um, we're gonna look at that quick record in a second. Uh, this also now has colors uh, matching the Osmo. And if you have watched any of my tech stuff, I, I'm just a guy, dude. I don't understand settings and f-stops and I really don't, as much as I think I'd like to learn it, I haven't, all right? I have dabbled in some color correcting. And what I'm doing, um, I shoot my slow-mo in um, D-Log 10-bit, which gives you a lot more to play with if you're editing video. Um, and then I, I have a, it's called a LUT, it's just a setting. And so I dial that back a little bit to 88% for the slow-mo and I use it on regular video. Um, I do 33, I just, I've gotten some nice comments on it, but for me to actually go in and, um, and really start moving graphs around, that's not really something I'm gonna do. Don't tell anybody. Um, it'll, it'll do 40 megapixel photos, and I'm sure they look great. I'll take a couple pictures outside and post them in here. Um, it's not really what you're using it for. It'll do in a pinch. If you need something for me vlogging, if I don't have my phone, battery runs out, I don't know, something, um, then I can take a thumbnail picture with this. Um, it does have subject tracking. Um, I, I don't use that on this. 
right? I can set it on here to follow me back and forth, but I, I kind of like it stable. Um, however, if you are using this for vlogging, you could set this on a tripod and move back and forth to and fro, um, and it'll follow your head, makes it look like you have a, uh, a cameraman. However, you do have to drop that down to 2K. It won't do it in 4K, because what it does is it puts a little uh, 2K screen in the middle leaves the edges so that you can go back and forth. But again, see somebody else's video for how awesome that is. Low light, that's really where I am excited. And we're gonna check that out here and see if there is a big difference um, between the Osmo 4 and 5. Um, I'll walk around some kind of dark hallways. And that's the thing is you don't think, and this is David Manning's thing, so please, again, I wanna make sure I give him credit. I'm not sure what the rules are on YouTube. Um, that's really, this is low light. Like right now I've got this in low light mode. Um, it's indoors, there's it's windows and sun and the beach and all that, but it really is low light mode. And so that's a lot of where you shoot inside, birthday parties if you're a parent, you know, when I go to Disney, inside the rides and to see how it takes care of that. Again, I'm not gonna go too far in depth. I'm gonna do a real quick video here, which you can watch and then see, um, see how that does it. Another feature I'll never use is, uh, I just froze, didn't I? Um, is there's an altimeter and a depth meter. So this um, I think will go a little bit deeper than the GoPro, uh, the new one, and um, it will tell you how far below the water you are, there's a little water gesture, or up in the sky, you know, if you're mountain climbing or doing, I don't really do any of that. I'm not a super active, guy, so that's not really gonna help me much. Just got it today, so I'm really making a bold statement that this is awesome without a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, man, I really needed more coffee for this, um, without a lot of testing. But I've watched, I watched several videos before I ordered it to see what they were doing and make sure it's something I wanted. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at them outside. I got two angles. The action, it's really weird. It has a much brighter tone on the screen that I'm looking at. Anyway, I've got these two cameras. I don't have one of those cool like side-by-side -side testing things. I've also switched over, which is another feature, to the DJI uh, wireless mic 2, which it does not come with. Um, uh, I don't know if that's gonna show up on video, but wow, that's a big difference um, in what we're doing there. Huh. Um, but I've switched over to the DJI wireless mic 2, which you could do with the 4, but now you can add 2. And I have 3, which I really don't need, but, but, uh, but yeah, so let's go outside and see how that looks. So obviously bright light cameras always look amazing. Uh, let's just take some video of the beach and see how it looks. It's also got a bigger screen. Uh, so there's some cool stuff going on here. It's really, really neat. All right, I've got this on super night mode, which I don't even know what that is. Um, I thought it was a low light mode, but let's go in here. Uh, and this is obviously really dark, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on some lights, so hang tight. But just like the, the wall sconces, and let's see how, how that looks. Like what's the difference? On this screen, it looks incredible, but I can't quite tell um, you know, from here. So this might be like a super extreme test. Uh, and I wonder if it gets blown out if you come back in now to regular light, but we'll test that and see. So now I'm gonna see if there's a low light mode as opposed to super low light. And now I'm back to the start with super low light. Um, I don't, I think the Osmo 4 has a low light setting. Um, I use it quite a bit on the Osmo Pocket 3. Um, as you can tell, I'm all in on DJI, but you know, I wonder, and again, does this get blown out? And you know what we can do too? Let's take another little test in low light and just walk in and out of some stuff. We'll do it first regular and then in low light. All right, so coming out of regular light, this is a sunny window in the stairwell. Um, we are in regular mode here, both of them. So, you know, this is really like a, a, a real use. I mean, this doesn't seem dark, but it is, right? I mean, it's not, it's, it's dark. It's, it's, 
it's not regular light. It's not out in the sunshine. And so, you know, and here is a kind of unlit bedroom. Again, that screen is so much bigger on the front and the back. All right, let's try it again, but this time with low light on. All right, one more run through, and this time with low light on. So, I mean, obviously on the screen, I can see a huge difference. I'll be interested to see if, uh, if you know, when I get home, if this is real video, but it looks pretty good on the screen. Um, and you know, a lot of my stuff is shot like this. I don't think it'll replace the Osmo because I just love that camera and the gimbal and everything about it, but this looks pretty good. I mean, wow, that quick record is just so fast. Now, this is in low light still, I think, so I'm gonna go over here in the shade and see how that looks because that's the big problem, right? Like, you know, you got this beautiful scenery behind you and you, wanna, you want that to show um, without being all blown out. So, and again, this has just been, I'm a regular dude who uses this mostly for vlogging. I mean, jumping in a pool every now and again. I don't scuba dive. I'm not doing extreme sports. But I think what they've done here, especially with the addition, you know, with being able to add on the wireless mics, is you've got a camera that can go anywhere. It's robust. You know, you get it wet, who cares? So if you are somewhere that you don't want to use your phone, I mean, this is the way to do it, right? Um, is it worth upgrading from the four to the five? We'll see. I can't make that call until I get home, but I'll put it down below, down below here and let you know what I think with the low light. That would be the biggest thing is that the, the low light and maybe the fact that I don't have an SD card in it right now. I mean, that's pretty unbelievable. So right now I'm just sitting here. You got longer battery life. I haven't used an SD card. I've never even charged this thing. This is how it came straight from the factory. So it's, it's obviously a great camera. Um, I, of course, moved over from, to DJI from, uh, from GoPro because I find the cameras don't lock up and freeze. Um, overheating wasn't actually a problem, but I, I had a lot of trouble with GoPro. And I, it's a bummer because I, I think they've done a lot, but I just think, I think, I think DJI is passing them by. GoPro really needs to tighten up a little bit. So that's it, that's the video. Let me know if you have any questions below. I'm sure I did not answer them. Again, please, uh, I'll try to put a link to their videos if I can, I don't even know if I can do that, someone else's video. But I'm really standing on the shoulders of somebody else here uh, making this video. So thanks a lot. Uh, subscribe for more content. I'm almost to 20,000 subscribers as I'm filming this. I may hit that this weekend, which I just can't believe. It's very exciting. Uh, thanks. Let me know if I can help you uh, decide on this camera over something else and um, have a really big day.